ವಿದ್ಯಾಣೀ ಸರಸ್ವತೀ ಸಕಲ ಕಲಾವಲ್ಲಿ ಶಾರಬಿಂಬಾದರಿ ಶಾರದಾ ದೇವಿ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರವಲ್ಲಿ ವೀಣಾ ಪುಸ್ತಕದಾರಿಣಿ ವಾಣಿ ಕಮಲ ಪಾಣಿ ವಾಗ್ದೇವಿ ವರದಾಯಕಿ was the veena created for veena dhanam or she for the instrument effably sweet music of legendary veena dhanam mirrored a civilization that is fast receding in our memories to the royal court of tanjavur of the 18th century the sanctuary of all fine arts belonged her great grandmother papamma and grandmother kamakramma both renowned musician dancers dhanam was born to sundaramma who was a disciple of subbaraya shastri little dhanam learnt music from her mother and then from panchanada year of satanu the family wealth of music had thus been handed down as a precious heritage the family moved to madras they were well versed in tyagaraja muttuswami dikshita shyama shastri and yetteyapuram kumara yatindra krithis mother sundaramma worked in a modular gentleman's house taking care of the puja room and utensils a significant turn in dhanam's life occurred when once she accompanied her mother with a song on her lips as ever ಸುಂದರಮ್ಮಾಂಕೆಂಕೆಂಕೆಂಕೆಂಕೆ <laughs> This gave an impetus to the learning of the little one who was living in a family enriched in traditional music with uncle Appa Kanna and elder brother Narayana Swami as proficient violinists. This rosebud was the joy of the family for the sweetness of her voice.
With the additional income her mother earned, she learnt Veena from Aragasindaraya. In a very short time, she was acknowledged the equal of Veena Gauri, the maestro of Mailapur. From Baldas, one of Gauri's disciples, she learnt Padams. She was quick to grasp the most delicate nuances of music and remained a true sadhaka with a large repertoire. Dikshitar Kritis were the family heirlooms. She has blazed the trail. The Vegavahini composition, Veena Pustakadharini, was an exclusive family treasure. The Navagraha Kritis too were initially sung only by Dhanam and her successors. Tiruvattuyur Tyagayir, the aged son of Veena Kuppayir, a direct disciple of Tyagaraja, often visited her house and played the dice game with Bako, her daughter. Chinnakuti. <laughs> 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 பெரிய குட்டி வீணு இதோ எடுத்து வர தாத்தா மெதுவா மெதுவா such a casual, natural manner, Dhanam learnt, imbibed and embellished the compositions of Veena Kuppayir. She cut the disc with the Begada Varnam of Veena Kuppayar, which won great acclaim. spanned over six decades. Sister Rupavati at first accompanied her. Then Veena became her sole partner. She performed in the palace at Vizianagaram. The king reveled in her Bhairavi. 
For the most time, she gave recitals in recital halls, festivals, and friends' houses who thrilled to hear her. In 1916, she gave a scintillating performance in All India Music Conference in Baroda and also in the Congress House, now called Satyamurti House in Madras. She also gave her performance in the Mysore Palace. The <laughs> And the Sangeetatil Namma Karnataka Sangeetatil Ule Essence of Music That Namma Aktadhan Irundhu Nam Maathram Ule Inni Yenakku Periwaal Yellarume That Namma Sangeetatil Virimbi Kerkarthukku Pohova Apri Ule Uru Periki Sangeetam And the Amma Pataandharun Narayya Unda Namma Kirtanangal Dushadar Kirtanangal Shama Shastra Kirtangal, Chakraj Swami Kirtangal, you know, Anehum Peri Peri, Wagyakar, Wagyakar, Rude, Urpudhilla, Maria Pado, Chetra Padon Kola Hole Pado, Chetra Yer Padata Padinalna, Kal Urihuda, Puri Paduan. Music was the ecstatic outpouring of a heart that felt and mind that perceived true beauty in sense and sound. She presented the very soul of melody, the quintessence of music. She played in a moderate tempo with a softness of touch. She was a rare grammarian with a misleading simplicity about her vena. Her Raga Alapanas were exquisite. Once, in the shrine at Srivilliputur, when she elaborated on a raga for over 45 minutes, the listeners were spellbound, including the jeer. The time for the high noon ritual slipped by. Later, when she apologized for it, pat came the jeer's reply, you have yourself performed the puja. Is another required? Concerned, she never used any plectrum for her fingers. She plays with the flesh of the forefinger. And the wires were comparatively th thinner than what, what is used by the other uh, Veda Vidas because it had to be tuned to a higher pitch to so that she could always sing. She, she always sang. I mean, there was a ch chance for her to uh, expound the Sahitya of the of the composition which she sang.
She hated long and complicated swara prastaras, especially by women. She also felt women beating on their thighs, keeping thalam as unladylike. To her, the veena was the complete instrument that had shruti, thala and laya. So she had no accompaniments. Anayaka takes leave of the Nayaki, telling her that he would be back soon. But he doesn't keep his word. Naturally, the Nayaki was in grief. This Javali reflects the grief of Dhanam when she was in dire straits. The composer of this Javali was away for a long time. On his return, he learnt of her crisis. Immediately, he composed this Javali. The composer was none other than the great Dharmapuri Subbaraya. This is one of the Javalis her granddaughter Bala Saraswati of international repute handled with her own charm of Pava. A true trip of the old block, Padams and Javalis remained her family heirloom, apart from their dance potential. The Corporation Radio carried her music even before All India Radio was born. Veena Dharam avoided multiple creation of Sangadis in any of her pieces. She concentrated on producing the largest number of musical effects by subtle switch in a few Sangadis. The effect of her Javali singing was exactly the reverse. It produced a bouncing feeling. As a court musician in Trivandrum, she stayed in Kalyana Krishna Bhagavatar's house, the court Vainika. One morning, as he took leave of her before going to the temple, Dhanam began to play Akraya Linga Vibho in Shankarabaranam. He stood mesmerized at the doorstep. After the song was over, he went in. She asked, Swami, you have returned from the temple so soon? He said, I did not visit the temple. I heard your music. That is my worship for God today. The cause of giving the Friday concerts was because Veena Dhanam became blind in her later 70s. When I was hearing Veena Dhanam, she was around about 80 to 85. She was practically blind. She could only feel the instrument and play. She was at her best in the unrestrained freedom of her own room, where the fine tonal subtleties of the veena could be clearly heard. On Fridays, her house was a place of pilgrimage for musicians and connoisseurs from all over India, like Fiddle Govind Swami Pillai, Tanjavur Krishna Bhagavatar, Dr. Sita Patiyayar, Sarabha Sastri, Patnam Subramanyayar, 
திருக்கோடி காவல் கிருஷ்ணையர் வீணசேஷன் டி டி கிருஷ்ணமாச்சாரி அண்ட் கீர்த்தனாச்சாரிய ஹூ வாஸ் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்டல் இன் ஹேவிங் ஹர் ரிசைட்டல் ரெக்கார்டட் Once when she went to hear her admirer, the Hindustani maestro Abdul Karim Khan. He played tabla tarang for the first time, about 13 tablas. Like Jal Tarang, he played it with a, he tuned it with no time. Then people shouted, we want Hirabai, but they, they thought she was a beauty. Then stones started shattering the hall, brick bats. He had brought a huge Rajapalian breed and tied it in one garden. That started springing at him. Yes, ah, right. In the following number, uh, 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 he is cheating us. He is not bringing Hirabai Bhavadikar. Come on, uh, dog. He is springing at his throat. He said, call Lashwan, Ram and Lashwan. Ram and Lashwan were two tumblers. They brought it, they t- tuned it. The dog, Uh, until it came to Sa, he started howling. Can you believe that? And Dharamal, who Ramayana Chitti and Dharamal were the chief guests, he said, Nāyī ola māyī ola ola ni shalu shalu ha, in me ne nāyī ola ola māyī ola māyī ola māyī ola māyī ola māyī ola māyī ola Because the sense of Chitti in the dog is so high and incredible. This entertaining, sharp-witted conversationalist was simple but very expensive in her jarda paan swag perfume sandal paste and the best of incense sticks she made her rounds in a hand pulled rickshaw she enhanced the status of female contemporary musicians many stalwarts came to learn from her apart from her family members like brinda she taught muttyal pet sarvanammal kanakambal Maharani Setu Parvati Bai and Rukmini Lakshmi Pati Savitri Rajan among others. Those days the uh, music academy sessions were held in the Senate house in the marina. There were no loudspeakers. So one, on her performance she started well I think she started uh, she played a couple of pieces. Then she left uh, Veena on the floor and she kept quiet. she had her pan and she chewed away and people were coming and going the audience didn't know why she was like that then they realized everybody who was coming make a scratchy noise with their sandals the children were crying doors were banged and the fans were uh, making a noise she could not stand it so they realized then the secretary appealed for silence then she herself opened her mouth her mouth and said if you want to listen to music you listen only to music not anything else so that opened everybody's eyes so from then on i remember when danamal is performing there will be pin drop silence otherwise you will not hear any music in 1938 at the close of dasara on the saraswati puja day she played her last magnificent touch of her precious child veena the notes faded into the infinite but the cadence lingers on one might wonder if veena danamal's tradition is still in vogue I would say the tradition of Veena Danamal is vocally alive through Mukta, Brinda, Vishwanathan, Vega Vagini, of course my mother no more. But when you ask me about the tradition of playing the Veena, there is nobody now. it's very sad that but brindama has been playing the veena because she's learned from her but she's old and she's not playing it anymore so nobody is there it's a very sad thing as a woman vainika i am extremely proud that 
a woman vainika could make the biggest name in veena and the sangeetha inniki ava kurumbathil irukkapatta aashila vetri irukku adha ellarum eduthukondalnaka namma sangeetha palai sangeetha endudengiradhu nanna theriyamudiyum her music constituted an amalgam of inert flair heredity and constant practice in her own time she was a legend today she is history an inspiration a colossal musical tradition in the realm of carnatic music